Hey, Jen. Hey, Kevin. What are you looking at here? Well, just the USDA's plant hardiness zone oh, map. You're such a dork. Well, you know, it, it shows you what plants to put where, what survives, and what region. Right. So specifically, what are we measuring right here? I've seen it before, cold, sort of the warm, top to bottom. But what are you actually measuring? What this map does, right, it measures the coldest temperature calculated on an average over 30 years. Okay. So this, the last map was from 1991 to 2021. They record the coldest temperature over those 30 years, and then they put it all together, and they make an average, and they assign you a zone on the map. And the reasons we care just about the coldest? Just about the cold. Why? So this plant... Right, say for instance this boxwood, like this hardiness zone is negative 30. What did you see on the map? What's negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit? Negative 30 degrees says that zone 4A. Mm -hmm. Negative 30 to negative 25. Wow, that's a hardy plant. Yeah, so, you know, this will survive in those temperatures, especially with snow cover and you have, you know, extra moisture and stuff in there. So this is about survivability. This survivability. is the tool that you will use to say, put the right plant in the right place, and it'll hopefully come back next year. Exactly. When I'm looking at my nursery catalog and I'm doing a design, I pick, it used to be just zone five plants, right? Because right. Boston was zone five A and B, and then it's kind of changed over time to six A and B, and now it's seven on the coast. Whoa, so th is that the headline here? We have changed and it's warmer. Yes. So what are those zones again? We went from what to what? 20 years ago, it was uh, zone five A and B. And now? And then it went to six A and B, and now coast is seven, and in Boston, where I live, is uh, 6B. So that's what happened here. Did that happen across all the zones in the entire country, or? Not everywhere changed. Over time, as technology has improved, there is newer weather stations. So this last map was based off of 8,000 weather stations across the country. And over the past 10 years, it's increased to 13,400. Uh, more data points. More data points, which means more accuracy. What they came up with, only certain areas changed. Mm. So you really have to punch in your zip code, go to their website on the USDA, and then it'll bring you right to your neighborhood. So it says Boston is now zone 7A. Yep. Which means that it can to it, it, the coldest day is going to be somewhere between 0 and 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. And if we were to actually take the map and click on Boston, yep, try it. it's going to, oh, there, it brings us to Boston. So you go to the picture, here's the 7A. That is this along the coast, right? So light green is warmer, mm -hmm. um, which makes sense because it's near the water. Right, and then you can see the contrast when it switches to 6B. Right. So mm -hmm. when you see this and you think about our backyard that you work in, mm -hmm. like, how do you think about it? Well, it's interesting. You, we might have the opportunity to work with warmer weather plants. So I might sneak something in here and there, <laughs> you know, especially if there's a little microclimate in someone's yard, you have a south facing house and you know the wind's not going to rip through. It's going to be more protected. So I might try. I might not going to do a whole hedge of something that okay. could die. And, and should this new data and the new map affect the way I think about the summertime? Like, does it change no. what I think about with my vegetable garden? Or is my lawn okay? Your lawn's okay. Your plant, your established plants are okay. All the trees, shrubs, and perennials are the ones that, during the winter time, will be affected. Gotcha. So keep on growing all your veggies and stuff. All right. Well, I love more data and an updated map. Um, so that's good information. Thank you. And of course, it begs the big question. What's that? Why does anybody live in northern Maine? Because <laughs> the blueberry. The blue is 60. That's pretty brutal. Yeah. Ah, all right. Well, that's it for us, but plenty more coming up next time. So until then, I'm Kevin O'Connor. I'm Jen Nawada. For Ask This Old House. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.